Thank you for joining me today. Um, we're we're going to discuss important topics such uh, for new and transforming hairstylists uh, that they must understand to be successful. One of the big questions uh, all, that always comes up is um, is whether or not I should go out straight go out on my own. Whether you're a brand new stylist or if you're a um, like a, a stylist, like right now, for example, a lot of people are thinking about going out on their own. And um, so we just wanted to like have that conversation. Let's see. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, go ahead. Sorry, go, go on. Uh, so I was just gonna start off by saying, um, do you, I mean, I already know this, but for the viewer, do you work at a studio or a salon? I work at a salon. Okay, and then in your own words, what did, how, describe the difference between a studio and a salon. Okay, so I, uh, a salon is you're still employed by the salon. Um, you, you know, you you don't have to pay rent. You uh, you get a percentage of what you make, and you know you you have the support. I guess you could say, uh, whether it be you know health insurance, uh, your uh, retirement, uh, you, and you don't definitely don't have to pay for like well somewhat you don't have to pay for your products or your color very retail that you use um, on clients and you uh, you know you, you just get the support you get like classes and stuff like that I'm not saying every salon does that but in my experience that's yeah. that's what we get okay now, so it, basically it's like you get kind of everything all together and uh, you don't really have to set that up you just kind of yeah, like especially esp especially with the um like setting appointments obviously you have a receptionist that takes care of all of that for you yeah. And and I, I can't say like, you know, what my experience is uh, working for myself because I, I don't rent a studio, but I'm I'm pretty sure that they have to set their own appointments and stuff. OK. Yeah. And then um, so why are you why do you find why are you currently at a salon and um, have you th ever thought about or currently thinking about moving into a studio? Well, see, that's that's a really good question because, you know, I, I've always the sign that I'm at, I started my career there. I've, I've been doing hair for like about 25 years and, you know, I've, they're all I know. Um, I've worked for other companies while working for them, but they were primarily my main, my main, uh, you know, uh, place that I come, come to for work. And, and, you know, your home is your, I mean, your, where you work is your home away from home. So you got to be comfortable with where you work. But, you know, I would have told you like, hey, I, I plan to end my career here because of COVID. It's, it's changed things a lot, you know. I know, you know, I, I went out and, you know, to survive, basically. I had to go out and make, do some house calls. And I wasn't putting it out there. I wasn't, like, advertising it. But if, if you somehow had my number and you you reached out to me and I was comfortable with you, um, then, I would, then I would be down with it. And, it, you know, I've, I have a lot of clients that I do their whole family or I do their whole neighborhood. So it was, like, a lot of those people called me up. And, and then you know obviously it, you know somebody would give somebody my number and before you knew it I was I was doing so well I mean I hate to admit it because I almost feel guilty but where when it was time to get back to work and the, you know the shutdown was over um, I, I kind of told, told my employers I was like hey I could take one for the team and like and not come back and you, you know you, you, know, you can have the guys that like need the money to come in but I'll, I'll do that for you and they're like no nah, you need to come back to work and i was like damn it <laughs> and honestly robbie the, re the the main reason is i'd have to say is besides i mean besides the money i mean that that definitely it wasn't com even comparable okay but yeah. it was also how much of my life i got back while right. making way more money and so that was a huge thing and it's kind of like a no-brainer that's kind of like what we all work towards right is to make right. more money and work yeah. less right so yeah and and i vi i visited him at his studio and it was it was enticing man like yeah yeah you know i've never been to one before you know uh -huh. and I, the way his was set up was you walk in and there's like picture like walking into like i don't know a dormitory and there's there's a bunch of doorways and each doorway when you walk in it's like your own apartment like right you know it, it's an enclosed space that has his own shampoo bowl and a station yeah. and, and uh, a chair and then there's all this extra space and basically he could do whatever he wants with it. he could put a couch in it tvs in it whatever like um he has access to it you know 24 hours a day he could spend the night if he wants <laughs> you know he could be there he could be there one day a week or seven days a week right the, the, the owners or the you know your landlords really if this is what they are they um 
they don't care what you do as long as you just pay him your your rent. Right. And the, and the, the fee that he pays, it's it's chump change for for how much he makes. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, so on that note, like I guess um, I guess what do you see the what do you see the downside <laughs> to uh, staying? I mean, I guess like COVID makes this a very unique conversation because uh, because a lot of people are probably having this this these thoughts, but like historically, a lot of people have these thoughts anyway. Like, right. uh, you know, especially once you get busy up to you, where your what your level is, where you're making so much money, it's like you either start your own salon or you switch to another salon, making more money, right. uh, a larger percentage, or or you go out on your stu- uh, go do a studio or so like, you know, ev- that's these these options have been weighed a lot, but with COVID, I feel like there's some nice, be some new new pros and new cons. So like, well, that's that's the thing is like, you know, we we all think this and we we think we know what you know what it would be like, but you know, with COVID, this actually gave us a chance to taste like what what being off on your own would be like, and I think that's the difference is like, you know, normally like we 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 assume right that that we're going to make more money and because it, it, for the most part we keep it all but right. to actually like live it and and actually you know see, you know see see how how much of a difference it makes it's that's why honestly i don't know where you work but you know you know how big my company <clears throat> my salon is well the whole yeah. company it just it's like they've depleted like you would not believe my wow. location my location wow. Dude, it seriously, and my location is pretty big. It has it probably what twelve style chairs. That's um, it. Which location are you at? Uh, well, where I came from. So, okay. Because I just partnered to a new location. Yeah, okay. maybe I'm I thought wrong. you maybe, had more than that. More chairs. Let me than think. That. Let me think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. Yeah, that's um, pretty um, good size. Yeah, and so yeah, I don't know what I was thinking for twelve since I've been there for God knows how long. But um, it's seriously, it not just the support staff. I mean, they they none of them came back initially, but the the the, the actual stylist, man, it's it's more than fifty percent. Wow, lost. and I, and all those people went out on their own, or did they leave? Yeah, they went out or? on their own. They all went out wow. on their, their own. It all it all happened, uh, you know, because of COVID. Like none of it was before. So I, like, got a, I got a question about um, during uh, like when you do house calls, um, because like I agree that was definitely uh, that was definitely a time where, you, you know, you can see how much money you make when you're doing house calls because you're not paying a rent at a salon, yeah. you're not paying commission to a salon or a rent to a stu- studio or anything. <clears throat> um, were you doing color during that time? Yes, I was. And um, what was that you know like? Me, I- you know me, I'm, I'm, I'm primarily not like, like, I, I'm definitely, I, you know, uh, cutting is my forte and yes, I do color. Um, but it, I, uh, yeah, all my clients that, that need to color that normally get color done, I did color. And what was that like getting supplies? Were you just constantly going to the supplies? Yeah. Store? Yeah. Yeah. But it, you know, it, it, there's one right next to my house. It wouldn't be a big deal. And you just get, you know, you get like, you don't have to go back for obviously lightener and your developers. You just get a big tub of it. Right. You know, it's usually like, you know, your, your, uh, your colors and like your toners and stuff like that. But then right. after a while, it quickly, you quickly like compile a, a nice little inventory of it that, right. that you're not having to get like the whole works, you know, every time you go out, right, it might right. be a toner here or there. It might be re up on a developer, but that wasn't okay. an issue at all, man. Yeah. The thing that I thought I was going to have an issue with is I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm not known to be like a bookkeeper or like deal with that kind of stuff. And, and I was like, you know what, I'm, I'll probably do a horrible job of managing my schedule. Yeah. And it was, I couldn't believe that. Like if you saw my phone, I mean, I, I know there's apps, right. But yeah. I just did in my phone, like, and I, I would just be very organized with it and it would, you know, it would say a date and time and who I was doing and what I was doing. And if, you know, it, if I was going for the most part, like I went to people's homes, you know, but yeah. they were like, if there was the occasional like person that was just a solo guy that, you know, or a solo uh, girl that needed their hair done and they really didn't come fully equipped with a family or, or the neighborhood, then I'd have them come to my place, you know? Okay. Um, and yeah, it's, 
it, it was pretty easy. Nice. As far as that's concerned. Nice. So, so, uh, so you definitely experienced some of the pros to it. Some of the, some of the down, what would you say some of the downside uh, that you're worried about? Going so I'll through? talk about like house calls and my experience with that as far as pecans. And I'll talk about like what I fear of, like if I were to go to a studio. Okay. okay. So like with what I fear of, you know, if I go to a studio is honestly, it's the support. And I'm at a stage in my career where, where I've been doing it long enough where I've, you know, I might not need the support as much as somebody that was just starting out on the floor or, or was like, you know, just a couple of years in. Um, but like, just, you know, I, I feel like you know, the front desk, what they, what they do for me, because I really, I'm, I don't mess with anything that deals with the front desk. So I rely on those, you know, this uh, receptionist a lot. They take good care of me. Um, and so that, you know, they, they're, they're my support, first of all. And I, I don't know if I can live without them. Uh, second thing would be, um, you know, like, I would say just like uh, your health insurance, your your retirement. I mean, those are big deals, right? You but get, you, but so the you health get, insurance, I, I can live without because I'm sure I could find better health insurance, right? So you get um, health insurance where you're at? Yeah, of course. And you get retirement uh, retirement contribution? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, so that's not super common. Yeah. And, and, and the, oh, it's not? No. See, like I said, I don't, I don't work. I've never worked for another. Yeah. They, those kind of benefits uh, are not very common. Um, really? Paid, paid leave, all that stuff. That's all oh, yeah, we find like, it in some of the biggest, biggest uh, companies and, and like some companies that have been around for a long time uh, yeah. that have their, like their clientele in order, they might do it, but I've heard of very few salons provide. Really? Benefits. Yeah. And the little things like, like paid vacation, you know, like, yeah. um, and also, uh, you know, education, and I know you're probably thinking like, well, you know, do do we really need further education? I feel like we always do. Like, always. You know, yeah. yeah I'm not, like, every so often I'll be like, you know, I, I like to take a refresher course of, it could be a graduation course, you know, and I totally. teach graduation, but like, I still, you know, need to stay sharp and sometimes just to revisit to get me out of a funk or whatever, you know? Right. So, you know, I know those classes aren't cheap, right? And, and no, it's nice no. to, to uh, you know, have them pay for that. And what also, about, um, go ahead. I'm sorry. Also, you, you know, the one thing that my friend did say to me, he was like, he gets lonely sometimes, you know, yeah. but, but I don't, you know, I, your, your, your work, you can be like your family away from home, from your family. Right. And so it's like, um, I, I like shooting the shit with the fellas when I come into work, you know, or whatever. And, and he said it was definitely something that he had to adjust to was, was, you know, it's, but in his case, he lives far away from where he where he rents a, a studio. So it was like, you know, I, I feel like I would want to rent one much closer to where I live. So if I didn't have an appointment, I wouldn't be there. But where he right. doesn't really have that luxury. So he said it would, you know, he, he definitely misses that. Um, but you know, you know, if it if it takes care of you, then you'll learn how to, uh, I'm sure, like adapt to that. Um, but yeah, so so that would be it for um for working in the studio and like what I said, about, I did a weekend one, but what about, um, so like along the lines of isolation, um, <clears throat> would, would say, I would say like, I'm curious to know, like people who have not worked in a studio before, um, you know, I would, I would say like one of my worries would, would be, uh, like what how, would be that isolation? Like what about collaboration? How often do you talk, discuss with your, with your coworkers currently? Uh, about a client uh, or yeah 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 yes. off absolutely a second opinion or uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely yeah, yeah that and that's the thing it's like that's a, yeah, a huge part of the support that I didn't even think of that's quite yeah. obvious right um it, it is you know brainstorming on that and and yeah they, again with my experience there's plenty of times where I'm like you know I, I'd like ha have a second opinion you always have this go-to people that you have that conversation right. with and yeah. it's not even you know to really ask for the help it's just tell them what you're doing and you know yeah make sure they, they don't tell you you're nuts <laughs> yeah see what kind yeah. of face they make right <laughs> yeah exactly yeah i you know i have one i have a, one of our color specialists i i definitely I, I call him like the most logical voice of reason like he just you know he he educates and everything he that i that i'm kind of unsure of I'll, I'll i'll recite it to him and see what kind of face he makes so yeah, yeah i've definitely sure. missed that um, all right well um let's say uh 
real quick, what was your favorite thing about working in a salon and what is your least favorite thing about working in a salon in general? Um, my favorite thing of working in a salon, I mean, we already touched on it, is, is your, your coworkers, you know, okay. like, yeah. don't get me wrong, there, there, there's, we can be your, the worst thing about working in a salon, but for right. the most part, you know, my, my coworkers, like, yeah, they're, they're like family to me. And I, I'm, you know, even though I haven't left, but I left that location. Yeah. You know, I, I'm missing like crazy, but. All right, now now for a laugh, <laughs> uh, you, let me share with us the story of one horrifying, mortifying moment that is now funny. <clears throat> even if it's just a little funny. God, there's so many. <laughs> like just, what's the first one that comes to your head? It could be, uh, it could be right. not that funny, but still someone might laugh. <laughs> You know, okay, so this one stands out to me a lot. I tell like, you know, new coworkers and sometimes clients. I never put the names behind it, and both both uh, parties aren't with the company anymore, so it wouldn't even matter. But it was like on the busiest workday that we have, which you would think is Friday or Saturday, but at one point it was Thursdays because we were yeah. fully loaded as far as staff. I mean, the owner, um, all the senior stylists. I mean, it was a full house. And I remember my, my station's always like towards the back. I'm like the back of the bus patrol, you know? And I was back there working on my client and I was kind of like, as I was working on them, I was like looking in the back hallway to, to see if there was an assistant that come out and help me. And all of a sudden this assistant comes out from the back and she, she's begging me to, it's an emergency to come to the back. And, and I'm like, are you serious right now? And I, so I asked my client, there, hey, sure. I go back there and when I, <laughs> When we go to the back room, there's where, where, where we do our laundry and stuff. Yeah. Literally, when I opened that door, there was all these assistants back there trying to pull apart these two stylists from fighting. Okay. Oh, no. Now, I was like, are you kidding me? And these two stylists, one is like, is like a muscle head, like gym rat, like giant. I'm talking like huge. All right. The other guy is also a very, very husky, like, you know, big guy and where, yeah. It literally, I don't know why they called on me because I couldn't have broken that up. <laughs> but, you know, I gave it every effort. Like, they literally, like, were at, at each other's necks. All the assistants were pull, trying to pull them apart. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Like, do you realize, like, it's what's going on, you know? Like, the owner is, like, just, like, you know, a few feet away from you guys. Right. And it's so busy in here. What's going on? And the one guy looks at me, and with the most serious face, he goes, do you know what he freaking did? I was like, what? He's like, he farted and it smelled so bad that me and my client could smell it. <laughs> and then I was like, are you <laughs> kidding me? That I was like, I was like, this is why you guys are about to like you rip each other's necks heads off because of, of somebody's farting. And, and I tried to be serious about it, but I started laughing too. I was like, this is, I mean, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was gonna be something much more serious than that. And I remember one of the one of the stylists walked by in the back and she she heard what was going on. And she goes, Coon, you know, she had this accent. She goes, Coon, you don't understand. It smelled so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Did he oh do the trick God. where he used the blow dryer and blow him behind you know him? What? I didn't know about that trick because honestly, that's one of my worst, biggest nightmares is doing that. Yeah. A uh, co worker who, who you know very well was like, Dude, that's when I love to do it because then I can fart and not help, not help, you know, be, uh, Held accountable for it. He just uses he just, he just a blow dryer, and I was like, "Damn, that is genius, right?" No, in my luck, or grab the hairspray. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I still don't have the balls to try it, but like, oh. I know knowing my luck that my blow dryer would fuse out or something. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man. Uh, all right, yeah, man. Well, um, one. I got to bounce, uh, but this was good. Let's, yeah, um, and I actually got to go do a house call right now. So. Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> let's let's definitely uh, touch base and dive deeper into some ideas about. No, I, I definitely. It's been too long, and plus, I would like to kind of finish this conversation on, yeah, totally. in private. Okay, All cool. Right? Sounds so good. So let's link up. Thanks All a lot right, for man. having me, Robbie. Yeah, absolutely. All right, man. Take All care. All right, man. Take care.